Man, it's time to wake up. I don't wanna. Round about five, I got dinner with Obama. About to hit the road, I ain't talking about Lana. Ring, ring, who's that? Oh shit, it's your mama. Catch me in a suit and a tie, throwing parties at the White House. Shorty gonna suck big balls like his white bout. Shotgun Willie is a 22 year old hip hop artist from Southern California. He grew up in a low income area, and with nothing more than his bedroom, a microphone, and a notepad, he has released music on YouTube that has garnered over 120 million views, and his music on Spotify has reached nearly 200 million plays. He has independently blown up by putting out his songs over the internet and changed his entire life. I think his music is rad, his story is great, and over the past 10 days in Austin, Texas, I've been hanging out with him, getting to know him a little bit better. This is something I would usually post on my Patreon, but after rewatching it, I feel like it's more than worth putting out on my main channel. So here he is, Shotgun Willie. So I'm here with the one and only uh, Shotgun Willie, aka Joshua Williams. Yes, yeah, so we're here at the glorious Starbucks in Austin, Texas. You've been out here for like 10 days. Just kicking it, just having fun, exploring Texas. I've never like, kicked it here, especially not in Austin. This is my first time here, so. What What have been some of your favorite things about Austin? Man, I just love that it wasn't what I expected, and I, I don't even know what I expected. But it just wasn't this shit, man. Austin's like, Austin's popping. We, I think we killed it, man. Yeah, we had a great ass time. Zilker Park is the shit. Taking fools off their paddle boards. Oh my, you could throw some clips into that shit, bro. I'm throwing clips in right now, dog. <laughs> Don't run through me, boy! <laughs> <laughs> You grew up in Riverside, California, yeah? Yeah, exactly. Riverside, hour south of LA. I feel like I didn't get the same Riverside experience as everyone just because I grew up on a ranch, like full of like, you know, horses and fucking all that shit. But I fucking hate Riverside, respectfully. <laughs> like, I respectfully, I fucking hate Riverside. It's just the only thing good about it is location, bro. It's just an hour away from literally everything beach, snow, desert, whatever the fuck you want. So that's cool, LA. But the mindset like there is just weird bro i feel like everyone's on some like nobody like really likes each other it's yeah. so weird bro is all of riverside like an impoverished area yeah they're pretty poor it's not like i mean the worst of the worst but yeah it's 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 low income fucking just not too much get like it's not on some compton stuff you know what i mean were you rapping growing up like young elementary school middle school freestyling and shit with your boys no actually that i didn't even start fucking around till probably like sophomore year of high school in fucking like at lunch bro just like with the homies like on some who could do it better like stupid shit you know what i mean just some funny inside joke shit and then uh i don't know it just slowly progressed more and more fuck here we are were you nice off the rip when you first started rapping i didn't think so i thought i was just on some like how can you not do this shit? Like, I was probably rhyming like cat and hat, bro. Like, honestly, but like... Dr. Seuss bars. Honestly, like, I don't know. I think when most people go to freestyle, they just blank out. And so the, the fact that I could even get out a couple bars was like impressive to people. And they'd be like, you're like good at this. And I was like, you're just bad at this. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? I'm not good. You're just bad. And I, I, I don't know. So I think I, at some point, you know, throughout the years of doing that, I realized like... Maybe I am just better than most people at like rapping, like, cause it's not a natural like skill for most people, and I, it came to me very naturally. I, and I didn't even plan this, you know. I think it was just like a, a like deep down thing, cause I didn't ever plan to be a rapper, you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, like it's some Ularian Destiny shit, right? Yeah, like some just like straight up like destiny, just like straight like it was the my path, like on some weird shit. So before we had this uh, superstar uh, Trent Shotgun. Willie, we had Trent, shotgun <laughs> Willie. What the fuck was that? We had uh, teens react, Josh. Yeah, uh, yeah. I mean, your favorite shit to talk about. Yeah, it's not. Um, yeah, bro. I don't like talking about that shit. Not even because I'm not even like embarrassed or anything. I think uh, it's mostly because like I was putting on a front. Like you know what I mean. I was not being me. Yeah. I was genuinely on that like fuck it I'll pretend to like this shit because I think it'll get me followers and uh, it worked to a, an extent like I was never like super famous but I got my little following and then realized 
I fucking hated them all. <laughs> like, yeah. I was like, man, these kids are fucking stupid, man. Like, respectfully, <laughs> these kids are fucking idiots. Shout out to the fine bros, yeah. Shout out the fine bros fan base, man. Nah, I mean, there were some good ones, but... When did you get on the show? I was like 15, man. Sophomore, junior year, somewhere around there. And how did that shit come about? They just posted on Instagram they needed some people, and I was like, fuck it. DM them pools? No, I like sent an email and was like, yeah, like, get me on that hoe. I don't even know. I just, I just wanted. I always wanted to be a YouTuber growing up. I always was in love with that. So I saw a chance and I took it. You know, I don't regret it because I wouldn't be here yeah. if I didn't. Like I'm not. I didn't use that fan base or anything. I completely like made new pages for everything. But just the like, I was in the internet scene. You know what I mean? I was. I knew for the rest of my life I was gonna be in the internet scene making money somehow through the internet. Cause it's a hard scene to break into, sure. especially now, like even more now, everybody wants to be a YouTuber. And I was dreaming about that shit since I was fucking, like since 2005, bro. And on some Smosh shit. Yeah, on Smosh, fucking Niga Higa. Higa. Uh, all that shit, bro, all that shit. And so I wanted to do that shit so bad. I finally got there and I was like, fuck, I hate this. I, this is the worst. I'm like pretending to be someone I'm not on camera. I'm fucking like, I, it, it was dumb. It was stupid. It was a waste of my fucking time. That thankfully led to something great, you know? Cause this is, I'm, I'm as real, like this is me. You know what I mean? Finally, I'm, I feel like I'm me. I mean, if anyone's out there doing some shit that you know they feel like they're not them doing bro it's just a bad path even if you're making money honestly like that shit drains you mentally i really love my fans now and they're like great like i like see myself in these kids i'm i'm hype on it i, I definitely because people look up to me and and like that's fucking weird i don't think i'm the best influence but i i think if you're gonna look somewhere if you're gonna start looking somewhere you know what I mean? I'm better than fucking someone who's faking it, yeah. you know? You're genuinely you, yeah. so don't be afraid to switch lanes, people out there. Exactly, yeah. So switch lanes. If you want to switch lanes, switch fucking lanes. Because if you just grind, it'll come to you, yeah. for sure. That's Larry and Destiny right there. Uh, so do you have any crazy stories from the Teens React days? At least the story of how, of how you stopped doing Teens React. Oh. <laughs> I don't want that on wax. No, I can do that. I can do that. Um, yeah, the deets. Um, yeah, I didn't like how I was being treated there. I felt like targeted because I was slowly starting to be more myself. And I don't think they liked that because I wasn't very family friendly. So I was just constantly getting berated with fucking, don't do that. Don't do this. Man, I'm being treated like I'm fucking like a bad guy. Like I'm doing bad shit, but I'm just trying to be me, man. Not keeping and I, up the teens react image. Yeah, I was like, man, if, if they're gonna treat me like this, I'm gonna start doing stupid shit. And so I just slowly started doing the dumbest shit to like try and get kicked off the show. And it just eventually got to the point where VidCon was coming up, a big convention for YouTubers. And uh, I was just like, yeah, I'll fucking posted on my Instagram story. I was like, oh, packing for VidCon. And I had like my suitcase, all my clothes. And then on top of my clothes was a fucking gun. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Teens react Josh with a gat. <laughs> and apparently VidCon has people scoping everything out, bro. And they saw that story. And uh, I pulled up to VidCon. I got arrested. They let me go because I obviously didn't have a fucking gun, you know? Yeah. So then Fine Bros heard about it and they were like, yeah. And that was the end of Teens React Josh. But we got Teens React Troy. Troy, come over here real quick. Troy. Yo, Troy, come on. Leave your wife alone for a second. How was Josh on Teens React? Was he good? He was pretty good. Kept it real, I feel like, for the most part. What did you think about the Gat story? Oh. Allegedly. Nah, it, it happened. <laughs> <laughs> It was a great idea. I saw it. I was in summer school. And I looked at it. I was like, that's my boy right there. <laughs> and then he calls me two hours later. I'm in class. And I was like stepping outside. He's like, bro, I just got kicked off that shit. And I'm like, dude, I'm in summer school. I can't, I can't deal with this right now. I was like one of the earliest people at VidCon because uh, I was trying to get our hotel ready and everything. Dude, they got my ass and I had nowhere to go, bro. They were like, you come back here, like you're going to jail type shit. And I was like, fuck. I was like, all my homies are going to VidCon. What do I fucking do? And I just hit up some bitches, bro. <laughs> I was like, yeah, like that. I had like, I, they told me they were coming to VidCon. I was like, 
yo, like, I can't go back to my hotel. I just got fucking banned. And they were like, pull up. And I was like, okay, like, fuck it. Let's see it, bro. And, hey, we, and then the rest of that night, that's another story for another day. Lost my virginity. He fucked my favorite YouTuber's girlfriend in the same room as me in the next bed over. Yeah. And that peen react special, you know what I'm saying? What you think about this? Up. Phase up, baby. That's all I got, <laughs> that's all I got to say. Phase yeah. up. Phase up, bro. So then after you got kicked off Teens React, what, what came next? Back to regular life? Was there any kind of like bummed out phase or were you like, what am I going to do next? I don't ever really remember being bummed out. I was definitely lost, 100%. I didn't know what the fuck I was going to do. I really thought like for a second there that I could make the YouTube shit work. And then I uploaded like maybe three videos after I got kicked off and they all fucking flopped and I was- Shout out Film for Josh. Yeah, Film for Josh, yeah. And uh, they all flopped, man, and I was like, damn, I'm done. I uh, was broke. I started going to college just for money because my family's so broke that we uh, qualify for FAFSA. So I got paid to go to school from the government. And so I would literally just take the stupidest fucking classes in college, like classes on how to take care of babies and fucking like intro to music where we learn about like Mozart and shit, bro. This is the dumbest classes I could possibly take to make money, you know? That's the only reason I was going to college because my last video that I ever uploaded was like a, like a music like video and it was on some like funny shit, like skit shit, but I had kept making music even though I was done with YouTube. Had a couple songs do, you know, pretty fucking good. Uh, like, well, to me, it was like only like 200 likes on SoundCloud, but I thought that was like, I don't know why, like, cause I was getting millions of views on Teens React and shit and all this stupid shit. I had like maybe like 18,000 followers on my Instagram account for Film for Josh. And, but that 200 likes on that SoundCloud shit, bro, just felt like I did this, you know what I mean? Yeah. And so I, Stopped posting on my main Instagram account, created a whole new account for this Fuck guy. Fuck out the way, Troy. I'm gonna sleep that boy. <laughs> created a whole new account for just like all my music shit, man, and just started from scratch. Cheat codes caught on, man, blew up, and I saw my first paycheck for that. It was like 700 bucks, and it, I dropped out. I was like, I was done. I was just, I'm gone. I dropped out of fucking college and just grinded the music. So. So you dropped cheat codes for hoes on SoundCloud, right? Yep. And then how many, you, you woke up one day, was there, was there a moment you woke up and was like, God damn, this bitch got a thousand views, this got, this got 10,000 views, something like that? Actually, I think it was more of like a, I was kind of like mad because cheat codes was re-uploaded to YouTube under somebody else's name. Or it was like a name that I had like on my SoundCloud for like a meme. Jorno? No, it was fucking Young Nut Quick. Like it was the <laughs> stupidest fucking name, dude. I was just like memeing for like a day because I didn't have an official rap name yet. Yeah. So I'd change it every day. I'd just fucking change it, which is the stupidest fucking idea. Because yeah. then Cheat Codes gets re-uploaded as Young Nut Quick, Cheat Codes for Hoes. And I'm going by Shotgun Willie at this point. And that, sh of course, that's the video that takes off. I didn't even have a YouTube channel yet. Mm. That shit's getting hundreds of thousands of views and I'm over here like, who the fuck is Young Nut Quick, bro? <laughs> that ain't me, bro. <laughs> and so, uh, man, I would be in the comments replying to people like, no, this is Shotgun Willie, like every day trying to pick up every single fan I could, you know? And then after Cheat Codes for Hoes uh, went up, how, how long after did Oreo come about? So Cheat Codes was like mid to end 2018. Oreo was like January 2019. That was like maybe my second, third upload on YouTube. And it just caught the algorithm, got a couple hundred thousand views. I was like, hell yeah, let's go. Six months later, hit TikTok and just through the went off. Just stupid, just dumb. That's that shit was. That was when I was like, oh fuck, because yeah. I had every single label in the world calling me on some like, give me this fucking song. You know what I mean? Tell me about yourself. What? what how'd you? Blah 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 blah. That shit was pretty crazy. We had meetings, fucking free hotels up in LA, just all kinds of stupid shit. And then I was sued. <laughs> I didn't ever clear the sample because I didn't even know what that meant. Back then I knew nothing about the music industry or how any of this worked. I was just a stupid kid dropping a stupid song and not knowing what was gonna come of it, you know? Not knowing it was gonna lead to me getting butt raped by Bobby McFerrin, you know? <laughs> How did it feel being like a, a not that wealthy kid in Riverside, right? Living in this house with your parents and then you have every record label in the world hitting you up, offering you like hundreds of thousands of dollars. 
That's hard. It's hard to say, honestly, because yeah. I look back at that, and yeah, my confidence was, psh, the money was, psh, I was, I was making business moves. I was doing this and that, but I mean, at the end of the day, dude, I'm like, I'm still living on this ranch that, when it rains, the fucking roof leaks, bro. I'm still living on this ranch that, like, I gotta wake up and go, damn, is the shower gonna work today? Is the water pressure gonna fucking work today? I'm still driving a fucking. Still to this day, driving a fucking 2004 Saturn View with like no no AC and shit, bro. You know what I mean? Still living in that same house too, right? 100%, yeah. I didn't like switch up and leave, you know what I mean? Which I definitely could have, but I think I'm very uh, fiscal with my money. I don't know, I'm scared of not having money again, you know what I mean? I guess now that you have bread, does it shine any light on like how broke you used to be or anything? I don't know what I thought. But I don't think I ever really understood the concept of money and like what it really meant. And I think one day I really just woke up and realized like, 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 fuck, man, like we're fucking broke. And like, I've just been like so unaware, so, so fucking out of the loop on like shit like that. Because I just didn't even realize like what the situation was because I was stupid. I was just a kid, you know what I mean? And then as soon as like. I'm going to fucking college for money and everything. I'm like realizing, like I now have my own money. You know what I mean? Shout out the government. Yeah. And uh, and I, I like realized, like fuck, like this is like a real problem. Like this is a real thing. You have to have money in this world. And so essentially, like something clicked in me, man. And I was like grinding every day for, and I didn't even know what I was doing. I was like starting clothing brands. I was like. Do, doing anything, anything that I thought could make me any sort of money on the internet, I was doing. One thing that I will say to people that I genuinely believe and I think is the best advice you could possibly ever hear, go create yourself opportunities while you're young. Because listen, school will always fucking be there. School will always be there. You can always go to college, always. But you can't always risk, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, y- your youth fucking fades fast. Yeah. Like, we're getting, I'm fucking almost, I'm 23 yeah. this month, bro. Yeah. I'm 23 this month, that's fucking scary. You know, I'm, I'm not gonna pursue a rap career when I'm 50, dude. But I can go to college when I'm 50. You know, if this shit ends up in, in the gutter, I can always go back to college. Always. A lot of people are scared to try. So many people tell me, like, oh, I want to be a YouTuber. People probably tell you, I want to rap. I just don't know how to start. Like, bro, I shoot my shit on a fucking GoPro, dog. <laughs> yeah, no, and that's, I think that's, like, some of the best shit. You literally got a phone set up and a GoPro set up. Like, and, and you used to be a teacher. You went to school for fucking, yeah. what? Six, six years. years. Six years to be a teacher. I became a teacher and was like, it's not for me. And then just, you know, switch lanes trying to find what's for me. And that's what I'm saying. Switching lanes, man. Finding what works for you, what you like. Because if you like it, you'll just keep doing it naturally. You won't even think of it as work. Like I said, like that music shit, never was I like, I'm going to be a rapper. Never, bro. Never. I was just making music and it just popped off because I liked it. Because I switched lanes into something I fucking liked. School's always going to be there. Even Cracker. I remember I actually had that conversation with him. Young Cracker. Young Cracker fucking my boy from Ireland we hadn't even met yet I don't think and he's sitting there going ah oh, you know I graduate high school this month like I think I'm gonna go to college blah 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 he's like I can do college and music and I was like listen man like no <laughs> like I told him I was like college will be there the rest of your life we have this crazy opportunity right now that we've created for ourselves and we have to pursue this shit and now like Crack has moved out of Ireland. He's in Scotland. All off the fucking internet, all dog. Off the internet, all because we we pursued it. We we took that opportunity instead of went to fucking college. Yeah, and I feel like going all in, like we were talking before, having a plan B kind of is just padding the nest because you'll be like that plan B is always gonna be there. So people think I was crazy for straight up quitting my job and putting videos on the internet that would restrict me from going back to that job. But I feel like you gotta go all in. If you really want it, I mean, if you don't want it, it's up to you, but people are gonna do what they want at the end of the day. Yeah. So if you're gonna go for it, you gotta go for it. Shout out to Tracula, Little Caesars, bro. He's Homie. so good, he's so talented. He's uh, He does that, dude. Without track, there's no Shotgun Willie. Not, not at all. I, uh, I hit my friend up, I was like, yo, I wanna do like a music video for my next YouTube video, but I don't know how to record songs. And he goes, oh, I know a guy. And he hits me up with Tracula, and I'm like, dude, I know this guy. We went to fucking elementary school together. 
And so we started recording songs like every other month, dude, just like on some fun shit. This is like 2017 type shit? Yeah, just for fun, like 2018, 2017, just yeah. making some stupid music and fucking... He made my career, man, but he's still so slept on. He does all his own beats. He writes all his shit. He's so good, man. And uh, I'm, I'm excited to hopefully get... No, I, make, I, w I will get to that position to the point where I can just make sure all my friends are eating, you know what I mean? Absolutely. I'm super excited for that. Yes, yeah, so if you're watching this, you don't know who Tracula is, check his shit out. T-R-A-Q-U-L-A. -A. He's fucking... He's fresh. So I feel like... Shotgun Willie, you, you're kind of uh, one of the, the leaders in this wave of uh, internet rap, whatever, whatever you'd like to call it, you know what I mean? It's kind, of, it's kind of funny, it's different, you guys use all kinds of old samples and stuff. So, who are some of your favorite people in that wave? My boy Cracker, man. We do everything together. Every single day we're on Discord. That boy is across the fucking seas. It's like 2 a.m. for me, but I'm waking up just for him to fucking start the grind, you know what I mean? I like the MC Virgins, they're... Super awesome, really good guys. Yes, yes. Baby No Money, we're going on tour. October, November, Hell yeah. the Eat Your Veggies tour. You can buy some tickets if you yeah. want. That shit might be sold out, honestly. Uh, we got the link in the description for that link piece. In the description, check that shit out. Honestly, it's gonna be super fun. Yanhead, man, that guy is, he's a savant. He's, I don't even, he blows my mind. I've met so many producers, so many artists, and this kid is the one that stands out, man. He is, he's scary good. Yeah. So Yunhead makes something and he makes me want to quit. Something I think is rad about you is you talked about how you pretty much have been in your bedroom the past two years. Yeah. Just making music, grinding, you know what I mean? You haven't even been interacting with people as much. Yeah. How, how has the past two years been? Yeah, this is my first vacation. <laughs> I spent 10 days in Texas with the boys. I had this mindset you just gotta do it. You just gotta fucking grind for that shit. You know what I mean? Like, if you want it, go fucking grind for it. And that's what I was on for the longest time. Like I said, like, as soon as I realized money is fucking God, then to now, this is my final, this is my first break. I've just been every single day trying to figure out how to make money. And uh, once the music shit caught on, it was just routine. You wake up. Where's the next hit? Where's the next song? Where's the next? What do I want to do? What styles do I want to learn? Um, who do I want to work with today? A lot of shit, man. That shit is wild to me. Oh, something we didn't touch on, bro, your heart condition. I feel like that's a, a crazy story. You yeah. want to touch on that at all? Yeah, I mean, long story short. <laughs> How old were you, first off? Okay, yeah, I was uh, 17, 18, the senior year of high school. Um, I have super ventricular tachycardia. And so essentially my heart would just randomly start beating like 200 beats a minute. Uh, like some crazy like boom, boom, boom. Like you see my fucking shirt moving type shit. And uh, yeah, it just uh, randomly happened one day and I kind of just ignored it. And then people like in my family found out and were like, dude, you could have fucking died. Like that's some serious shit. And so the next time it just randomly happened, I was rushed to the emergency room and uh, yeah, my heart stopped a couple times that night. They were, they were scared I was like allergic to the drug that like stops, like that can like stop superventricular tachycardia, like when it's like freaking out. And so they didn't want to use it on me, but I was getting to that point, you know what I mean? You were like about to be dead, your heart was stopping. Yeah, yeah, they had to use defibrillators on me because my heart was just going so crazy. And then uh, that didn't work actually. They did it again, it didn't work. And then uh, they put some sort of drug in me that calmed my heart down and uh, I ended up a couple months later getting the surgery for it. We've been good ever since. I mean, sometimes I can feel it, try to freak out, but for the most part, been good ever since. Right now, we're, get, we're getting Shotgun Willie that has been grinding for two years, you know what I mean? Just tasting some financial success from uh, your rapping, but you're about to really go on tour and, and see that kind of, I don't know what you'd want to call it, see the, uh, the social success and how people, because yeah. people view you differently. Yeah, I've done a lot of like self-reflection lately, and like, which is weird for me. Um, Growing up, I was very emotionless, and I, I still feel like I am kind of. I think that's part of the self-reflection, and is like, I don't know if I always want to be like this. You know what I mean? And uh, I, I, I want to look at myself from the outside and go, what do I want to change? What do I want to better? You know? When it comes to stuff like that, it's not something you change locked up in your room. So I'm gonna go take on America 
uh, have amazing experiences, make, meet amazing people, and hopefully gain some new perspectives on like how people look at life. I really want to, yeah, I want to come out different. I, I want to not be the same person when I'm done with tour. Yeah. When you're 22, you're about to go on your first world tour. I mean, that's that's crazy. You're in a crazy moment in your life, bro. I feel like you're going to look back in a few years on this and be like, shit was wild, bro. Yeah. Trip out to Austin, chill out to Starbucks, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Uh, it's cool. I'm excited for you, bro. I heard you're a big basketball fan. Is that true? No. No? No. Damn. Somebody told me, a little birdie told me that the 2016 slam dunk contest. <laughs> you're a big fan. <laughs> Listen, man. <laughs> Nobody gonna get the reference. I don't, dude. No one's gonna get that. Me and Troy are just always on some stupid shit, bro. Just like the dumbest shit. And I fucking had him come over for spring break 2K16. We're having a little dunk contest in my backyard. It was a real dunk contest. Like we were just fucking around on my little basketball court. And there's this video, bro, and it's like just it's just been the best meme for us like since literally since 2016 where I'm like getting ready and Troy's like spring break 2K16 dunk contest Joshua Williams is up and I fucking run with the ball dude and I jump and I go to dunk and I fucking completely hit rim and the entire fucking court falls and I like dodge it and I just whipped my dick out for no fucking reason and my shit just like bounced in the funniest fucking way dude and we have it all on video and it's just so funny yeah. and we'll just like reflect on like yo the, the dunk contest, man. Yeah. That's just just fine. It's just some some friend group shit. You know what I mean? Yeah. But inside joke type shit, Nikki yeah. F, Nikki FM type shit. You get me? Exactly. Yeah. Hundred so, um, percent. Yeah. I guess. Is there anything else you want to say to somebody that might be watching this out here? Anyone pursuing any kind of artistic things? Anyone that might be in a downtrodden situation that wants to make it? Because a lot of people would be like, "Oh, I wish I could be Shotgun Willie. I wish I could have that success." So, yeah. anything you want to say to people out there? Um, I mean, it really just goes back to the whole create yourself an opportunity you're not always going to be given opportunities um the way i look at success is like you grind and because you're grinding you're ready when there's an opportunity available mm -hmm. a lot of people aren't ready when an opportunity you know reveals itself yeah. uh and i think that's why a lot of people are fucking losers you know success isn't just grinding it isn't you there's luck in it there's a hundred percent luck in it you know what i mean uh when oreo hit tiktok you know what i mean I was ready to drop more music. I was ready to keep making music, to, to put myself out there. You know what I mean? If I wasn't ready, I'd just be a fucking sued retard. You know what I mean? I'd be an idiot in debt. But I was ready, and I did everything I could to run with that opportunity. And, um, and I will do that with every other opportunity that comes my way. Because... Success is it's 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 a two way thing. It's that grind and then it's that luck. And when that when that opportunity that lucky opportunity reveals itself, you have to be ready. You know, that, I think that applies to all things, honestly, all all, all forms of success. Uh, whether whether you want to be a doctor or a rapper, you know. Uh, you know? Um, and uh, for the kids who are sitting at home going, yeah, school is not for me, man. It's always going to be there. It's always going to be there. There's always going to be ways to make money in this world. If that's what you're really worried about, push, figure it out, get the fuck up, grind. Like on some corny shit, get the fuck up. Do it. Do it now. Shia LaBeouf. Do it now. I'm so serious. That's what I did. I did it. And I didn't even know what I was doing. Yeah. I'm over here. What the f I, dude, clothing brands, bro? What the fuck did like? I don't even. I was on Photoshop. I didn't even know how to use that shit, bro. Yeah. And, and boom, here we are. Yeah. So eat your veggie tour. Definitely. Come see me. I appreciate chilling with you the past 10 days. It's been so real, dog. So a, a lot of these people on social media are fake. And think about you, you're not even a big social media fan. So I feel like that's what makes you different and makes you rad. So yeah, uh, yeah just shout out Shotgun Willie. Awesome dude, and uh, appreciate you, bro. Yeah. If you uh, don't, if your job doesn't consist of social media, get off that shit. It's killing you. Yeah. It's the worst thing. What are you doing on there? Off, unless you're checking out our shit. Yeah. <laughs> hey, like and subscribe, bro. Like and subscribe every day. Hey, All right. Join the Patreon. Peace. Okay, now zip it, lock it, put it in your pocket. How you gonna hate when you broke, man? Stop it. Ooh, goddamn.
fucking flyer than a rocket A bitch talk shit, get smacked like bopping One, two, eight, ooh, bitch, I'm about to plane food Jordan Belfort, I'm about to pop another Quaalude